They finally got him, Jamari. The last month or so, we have seen these in real life streamers come out in droves and really gain a lot of popularity on the internet. And I have to say, they are amongst the cockiest group of people we've ever come across on this channel when it comes to acting like internet tough guys. Of course, we saw Neon finally get what he deserves with the Dana White situation, while also getting checked a couple of times in the process. It now it seems up. like these clowns are going to be humbled one by one as the universe begins to slowly spite them. And one of the people we have been talking about since this whole saga began- I'll say this! Rappers got more ego than even these streamers, bro. I'm telling you, bro. And was a guy named Jack Doherty, a content creator who began his career when he was only in his mid-teens. Apparently this guy at one time went on to the Dr. Phil show when he was acting like a delinquent. And over time he has increasingly become a bigger and bigger tool as the clout and the internet money go straight to his head. I mean we knew this guy was morally bankrupt when he was out here playing spin the bottle with the island boys for clout. And for the most part he's only gotten worse. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember Whoa, he when he was what? going around the mall harassing people getting all up in their face. Go. What? Well, probably you gotta do. Bro, how gonna much do? of this security get paid to do that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> And of course, whenever there's a situation where a physical altercation might occur, one of his multiple bodyguards steps in to try and defend him. Now, I do have to say, this guy has just about the most punchable face I've ever seen. Yes, that is foreshadowing. And above that, he's also built like the average 13-year-old suburban white boy. I mean, let's say this guy probably weighs a cool 95 pounds. And it's like, I don't even know how that head stays up on that neck. I have to think it's you know, weighing at least 70 of those 90 pounds. Of course, there was also the time that he pressed a security guard at the mall, and of course, his personal security had to jump in and save him during that situation as well. You're gonna take his stuff. You're gonna touch him. I didn't touch no, him. No, yes, you did. I didn't touch We're him. We're doing the same job. Six. You don't touch him. I took the mic because he put it in my face. And the nigga started, he put out the camera. <laughs> Yo, the nigga put out the camera, bro. He saw his security get a confrontation. The nigga started recording it. And Jack is obviously not new to this. He Yo, was we're gonna, a clip we're gonna of watch him the from a couple of years back done, already harassing people in a local Walmart. I need you to get out the store. What? I need you to get out the store. I'm oh, sorry, I was just playing around. Off the you chain. Need, you right, need to get out the store. Alright, can we stop and we'll just buy some? You need to get out the okay, store. Okay, wait, I'll get out of the store. You can't punch niggas, though. Sorry. Don't, don't take pictures of me. I'll break your camera. Mm, no, you won't. Yes, I will. I doubt it. I'm 15. Yeah. You'll go I to jail. jail. I don't care if you're 15. You'll go to jail. You, re you respect me. All right, and you respect me. Whoa, oh, hey! Ricky! Ah, look, bro. Nigga's an asshole, but you can't just punch niggas in your store. That's not... Nigga, you don't own Walmart, bro. Why are you standing 10 toes for a company that's paying you nothing, my nigga? Bro, nigga just risked his freedom. You can go to jail for that, dog. Ricky! Ricky! So I guess before he turned 18, that used to be his excuse when he would go out in public and act like a jackass. He's 18 now, I'm He's assuming. like, oh, you can't touch me, I'm still a minor. But now this new security blanket that he has. It's not about whether or not he deserved it. The Walmart employee just risked his freedom there. Period. It's not about who deserves what, my nigga. <clears throat> As it's an actual security team. Here's another clip where Jack goes up to some guys at a college party and starts getting one of their faces. Gets attacked by a couple guys after he yells at them behind the security. Yo, just don't, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Relax. Well, I didn't say shit no, to you guys. Don't record you me. You guys just tried to act. It was my boy. It was dude, my boy. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude, dude. dude, listen, come here. Listen. I'm here. I can hear you. He's right if there. If he keeps recording, I'm gonna have to break the camera. I don't care. Then you're gonna get kicked out of your school and you're gonna have to your pants. I'm not gonna get kicked out of shit. You're gonna explain your parents. How old are these guys? No. I gotta say, this is the most white frat boy I've school. seen what is in a college? very long time. Or high talking school. about, oh, you better not do anything because I'm gonna sue you. My daddy's gonna get you expelled. You got, I was fine with you guys at first, but you guys wanted to act like all cool. You're not cool. You guys are in school. College. School is not cool. I know. What's up? Kids are drunk. It's good. I get it. I get it. This has to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Telling someone what's up as if you want to fight them. 
while you're standing between your two <laughs> massive security guards. I mean, what do you really expect someone to do in this situation? Just start throwing <laughs> punches and get their ass absolutely stomped oh, out. That like, I promise pussy. you, if this was even a 1v1 situation, Jack would not be talking uh, all that shit. You guys shouldn't drink if it makes you angry then. Angry drunks, pure. Like, to me, it's like a Bro. chihuahua trying to start shit with a pack of some much bigger dogs. And then when the dogs come and try and chase him down back into his backyard, all of a sudden, he unleashes his Rottweiler friends, he's got a German Shepherd. And it's my belief that in the future this type of content will not age well, and neither will you if you do not just Yo, don't record me because I'll slam your camera. Don't be stupid, don't use me as content. Wait, I can't hear that last part. Yeah, don't record me because I'll slam your if you use me as content, it's not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. So I advise you to walk away, all right? How Don't use he? me as content. How the fuck is he gonna get into a The content you're gonna get is gonna be a lot, a lot different, right? So please step away, thank you. I appreciate it so much, all right? I advise you okay. to walk away. Well, I was just, I was just getting pizza. And you see, his security guard is like, Jack, we better f off. I mean, when their security is out here dwarfing your security, you better know how to act or you're both gonna get that beat down. <laughs> Once again, I advise you to leave it alone, right, buddy? All right. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Should I walk by him one more time? So he's essentially just become that annoying ass housefly that won't go the fuck away. Here's another clip of him just being a public nuisance to two older guys just trying to enjoy their day. We got out of there, motherfuckers, let's go! There's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd you I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You your kids can't read, what though. You about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> I'm seeting sure your kids me. watch. Uh, get you, away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. And of course, the running theme continues. Bro, is that the content nowadays, my nigga? Like, you just... Bro. He's just like, how much of a nuisance can I be today? What does he do outside of this? This is all I ever see, bro. Does he do anything... <laughs> Well, does he play games or does he have some form of content? They, they gotta be something he does, man, that we know about. Someone having to step in between him and someone else who he's creating an altercation with. Obviously an idiot like this is also just looking for attention wearing something like that that says, Fuck you. He got more houses than you. Gaming with Z3. I have more houses than you though, nigga. So you gotta, if you think I should respect him, you gotta respect me first though. So don't say stuff like that about me. That's not showing respect. Bro, it's not about money, my nigga. People like you, bro, things only make sense when there's money involved. It's weird, bro. You mean to tell me I can do the same thing broke, but if I do it and I'm rich, it's more okay? How does that make any sense, my nigga? Money doesn't make a bad thing better. Money doesn't make a good thing worse. That's not what money does, bro. Fucking and this is where Jack gets his first little taste of his own medicine. I slapped the shit out of you. It's not better medicine. or worse because I got more money than you, Watch nigga. your kids. Go wa walk away. Yo, Yo what the fuck? Hey, 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 and you gotta feel bad for people like this who are literally just out here minding their own business. All he told him was, hey, dude, watch your language, you know. Bro, you cannot play that in Atlanta, bro. Nah. <laughs> Bro, you cannot play that in Atlanta, man. Yo, bro. Yo, you cannot play that in Atlanta, my nigga. Yo, it's gonna be a shootout, my nigga. Oh, I have kids it's out here with me. Shootout. I mean, I won't lie. If you're agreeing to be man, this idiot be security shootout, guard, man. to me, you're pretty much just as big of a clown as him. And here's the clip you guys have been waiting for as Jack was out on the street talking shit like he always does. Only this time his security was not quick enough and he actually does receive the Johnny Somali treatment. Y'all got a shake hand? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. We're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 and it's just hilarious to me, like, the one time he actually got rocked, he runs off crying like a little girl. Pussy. Like, if someone can somehow identify this man, please let me know. Wow, okay, it's like he's eight the pixels. hero we didn't know we needed. And I won't lie, if Jack keeps up with these public antics, I don't think the next time it's just gonna be him getting a little punch in the face. And these bootleg security guards that he's hiring, who I think are just really big people, I have a feeling <laughs> they're not gonna save him if those slugs start flying. Like, it's not like he's out here with the Secret Service who are gonna dive in front of a bullet.
I'm not saying that I hope it happens. I'm just saying if it keeps up this little act, to me it seems like it's inevitable. All right, guys, I dropped over 100K on Christmas presents this year. I got five Time Rolexes, set. brand new, and then two diamond tennis chains. Um, this year's Christmas is gonna be fire. This man is really out here flexing the Timu Rolexes. Yo, well, how Either does way, that, it does, does he, seem like these. How does he have money? Parents is a little some shit. Nigga has a business we don't know about. Does he have a drop shipping business? Did, did he make money off crypto? What, how does he make his money? What are we, what are we missing? OF? He got OF? I get these faces off my streamers screen. are going to be getting humbled one by one. But y'all let me know what you guys think. Of oh, he got an OF with different bitches on it? Or is it his, is it? Nigga, didn't we just learn he, how old is this nigga, bro? He's an OF manager. <laughs> oh man, bro. about this down below he's 20 i do think the in real life streaming saga is going to slowly come to an end because it's really just a bunch of people running around in public acting like degenerates either way i hope you guys had a happy holidays i hope you guys got to spend some time with your family your loved ones i'm of course excited for the new <laughs> nigga put cash in the fucking box <laughs> oh like just put it in an envelope nigga why is it in a fucking square box? Year and I hope you are too. I do want to thank you guys for subscribing though and dropping a like on today's video. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman. Alright, bro. That's okay. Let's watch the Cardi shit. W video, Jamari. Oh, so you like the video? <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. you, you you're gonna like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the yeah, What that? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like.